Remember the talented painter from the popular show Iron Resurrection? Shorty was a fan-favorite automotive expert at Martin Brothers Customs. For three seasons, he was Joe Martin's right-hand man and worked on some incredible builds at the shop in Johnson City, Texas. Yep, it was Shorty's creations that often caught the eye. Once Season 4 started to be aired, viewers were excited for the new season and all the new builds, but there was something missing. Shorty wasn't in the shop anymore and no one knew where he went. So, what happened to Shorty on Iron Resurrection? What is he doing now? Did Joe Martin fire him? Make sure to watch till the end to find out. The Motor Trend Show launched with great hype in 2016. It is a show surrounding a shop in Texas. No, not Gas Monkey Garage this time. This shop doesn't do the drama. Iron Resurrection is a television reality show that features many people hunting for vehicles in the worst condition and then transforming them into automotive masterpieces. When you pulled this thing out of the garage in the sun, yes, yes, oh my going. gosh, wow. I, there, there's not even any adjectives that can explain no. how rad this thing looks. Yeah. The cast focuses on creating one-off pieces that separate them from most other shops. The show was created by James Conant, who has produced other shows like Jesse James' Outlaw Garage. The show has been going strong since they started and has received very positive reviews. However, the cast alterations made in Season 4 have raised a few questions in people's minds. We'd like to take a minute to thank the sponsor of today's video, NordVPN. If you haven't already heard about NordVPN, it's an easy-to-use VPN service that keeps you safe on the internet anywhere in the world and even allows you to virtually be anywhere. Yep, that's right. Can't stream that Netflix show you like where you are? Well, NordVPN allows you to change your server so you're virtually in another country, so you can watch it with no problem at all. A game isn't available in your country? No problem. Just change your virtual location and buy it. Discover discounts within other regions when booking travels. You have 60 countries to choose from. Remain safe while browsing on public Wi-Fi or any other network. NordVPN protects your data with military-grade encryption. There are many more reasons to give NordVPN a go, and for a limited time, we're giving our viewers up to 72% off a two-year plan. Check out the link in the description below. Now, let's get back to the video. Javier Ponce, also known as Shorty, was not a part of the show starting from the fourth season. The show's fourth season also doesn't include other cast members like Manny. I dug this out of the closet, and and I think this will do the trick. Kato. I'm doing now is just cutting out this this foam here, so you can see the wood and the the foam. When Pompa. I'm gonna do my car like that, Joe. just like that, Joe. I'm gonna do my Honda Civic like that. Civic like that. <laughs> but it was Shorty and Kato's absence that hit fans the worst. Welcome to Tuna No Crust. So what happened to Shorty? There was wide speculation about his disappearance, but according to the show's official social media platform, Shorty is busy handling private family matters. But is that the real reason or is there more to his disappearance from the show? Let's find out. But what are the private family matters? Don't worry fans, Shorty became a grandfather. Shorty figured that instead of splitting his time between the show and his own shop, he should only concentrate on his business in Dallas. This way, he can have more quality time with his family. The business shown in the reality television series is called Martin Brothers Customs and is located in Johnson City, Texas, and it is a three and a half hour drive from Dallas. Considering this distance and the demand from his business and his grandchild, Shorty chose to leave the show. That sounds like a proper reason. He posted a video on his Facebook to clear up the rumors. Let's watch it. Hello guys, um, I wanted to reach out to you guys and thank you from the bottom of my heart um, for reaching out to me. Um, uh, these past couple of days have been very overwhelming and humbling for me. Uh, so many of you have reached out to me through my social media, um, through my emails, my uh, Facebook, my Instagram. And uh, I had no idea uh, that there were so many of you out there that really liked me for who I am and what I did, uh, especially on, 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 on TV and IR. Uh, I truly uh, tried to connect uh, with you guys at home when I was doing those things. And so I really appreciate you guys uh, uh, telling me those things. It makes me feel uh, great and, and it's, and it's uh, very humbling. So again, I appreciate you and uh, I did try to connect with each and every one of you and answer your, your, your messages, but it just, it was just overwhelming and, and I couldn't keep up. 
so then I, again, I, I appreciate you for that. I thought this would be a better uh, way to reach out to you and let you know. And uh, um, at the end of the third season, um, I weighed my options and uh, I made the decision that made the most sense for me. And that was to come back home to my family and my shop in Dallas. Um, I am adding to my shop uh, and uh, hopefully it'll be done soon. And when it does, I'll put the address on the website. So if you're from out of town and happen to be in Dallas and want to come visit, you're more than welcome. And for those of you that live in the area, uh, you're more than welcome as well. And uh, who knows, uh, you might see me back in the future. So for now, I'll leave it at that. And again, thanks a lot and I'll see you soon. Where is he working now, you may ask? Well, he owns his own custom paint shop in Texas. He's still sharing his passion on Instagram and Facebook. Does he still associate with Joe from Iron Resurrection? The answer is yes. He has done events and car shows with both Joe and Amanda Martin, where they help him get his business out there. It's nice to see they still support the talented painter. But what do you think? Did Shorty use family as a cover-up for concentrating only on his business? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. However, we still wish him and his family the best and success in their business. Now, after we've dealt with Shorty, what about Kato? He is another notable member of the show to leave, and his reasons are very different from Shorty's. For those who don't already know, Kato was an incredible upholstery specialist who turned out some impressive work at Martin Brothers Customs. He chose to leave the reality TV show after his wife scored a great job opportunity. Kato moved with his family to Atlanta, Georgia, where his wife works now. What's more, Kato moved his business to Georgia and has rebranded it. The Iron Resurrection show has concluded the briefing on their absence and stated that all the missing and current cast members remain great friends. After all the rumors, Shorty was not fired, so chill guys. He is interested in spending more time with his family, and so is Kato. For now, we can enjoy Joe Martin and his brother Jason Martin as they are continuing to drive the show forward. Plus, we can enjoy new pivotal roles in the show. So, what do you think? Do you miss Shorty and Kato? Or is the cast perfectly fitted today? Share your opinion in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss an upload. And you can enjoy the excellent content we send your way. We'll see you next time.